North Wilkesboro Speedway in the in the Brushy Mountains of North Carolina is the location for round 35 of the Castrol GTX Cup Series. As we're set to go, as we're set here for the running of the Tyson Holly Farms 400s, we're set for 60 laps of racing here today. On this .625 mile racetrack, the last short track race of the day, we have three, three, we have three races left to go in the season. After this race is, is over, at least the course. So let's get to the. Starting line for this running event here on the pole for this race here. It's a pair of Batsons on the pole for this race here. Yes, husband and wife Batson are on the front row. It's Cat Batson, the wife of the team. The wife, it's wife Cat Batson, I should say. In car number 70, the Jelly Belly Ford is on the pole. Her husband Keith is alongside of him, of her, of her, I should say. Car number 39, the Motorcraft Ford. Keith, of course, the Daytona 500 champion this season. Second row has Seth Cullen, car number 25, the Flat Out Racing Network Chevrolet. He's alongside Cole Deaver in car number three of the GM Goodwrench Chevrolet. Both of them carry in-car cameras in today's race. Third row has the championship contenders. Kyle Matthews, who's the points leader coming into this race here, and also going for the North Wilkesboro sweep as well, too. He won the first GM 400 on this very same track earlier this season. He is alongside car number 11, Jessica Shelton, who won a season at Martinsville. She also won a... Um, a uh, Dual race at, at Louisville Motor Speedway earlier this season two. Jess starts outside of row number three. She's she's 63 points back of Matthews coming in this race. Going to row number four, we see Zach Rogers, who's third in points coming in this race here. Car number six, the Burger King Dodge. He's alongside number six or teen, number 16, Johnny Gardner in the in the Crawley Food Chevy. Going to row number five, we have a little Wawa -Wah versus Sheets going on here. Kev Shear in car 69, the, the waste management Chevrolet. He's on the inside of row five. Outside of him in row five is the winner of Homestead, Dylan Young, in the Miller Ford. Kev won a season at Richmond. Next row down, he has Charles Sanford, two-time winner season. He won at Talladega and Sonoma. He's alongside Dylan Poteet in car number 22, the Caterpillar Chevy. Or Caterpillar Dodge, excuse me. Next row down has the number 99, has number 10 driven to honor Chevrolet of Joshua Osborne. He's alongside car number 14, Matt McIntyre, the, the Advanced Auto Parts SKF Ford. Next row down has number 99. It is Levi McIntyre in the Marvel Studios WWE said Bell Ringer SKF Ford. <coughs> He's alongside car number 20, Cole Baker, who won who won the Charlotte race this season, the last race on the tour, the Melly Yellow 500. Next row down, Quentin Moore in 89. He's alongside car number one, Trent Dunham. Next row down has number 43, Mike Becker, the winner at Pocono, and Cassie Dent in car number 84. Next row down is car number 42, Nikki Martinez, and number eight, Matt Haas. Haas won this season at the Winston All Race at Charlotte. Next row down has Mitchell Collins in number 12. He's alongside number 18, Nathan Hudson. Hudson won this season in the 600 at Charlotte. Next row down has Zachary Fitzwater. He won the first race at Talladega this season. The first Talladega race, I should say. He's alongside Angel Navarro in car number 44. Next row down has Rob Evans in 19. And number 4, William Brock. Next row to Jesse Turner in the winner at California. And number 17. And number 01, number 01, Jake Emerson is alongside. Next row, Tower Deaver in 24. And number... And number... Um, 41, Taylor Gertis is alongside. Next row down, Jay Jefferson in 48. And 91, Jordan Anderson. Next row down has number 76, Ty Dent. And number 97, Zach Winkle. Then it's Kate Anderson, the Pepsi 400 winner in number 88. She's alongside Bill Parker in number 5. And starting shotgun and field beat, car number 52, Mason Wood. And number 30, Ryan George. That's the that's the full field run. That's the full field lineup for the running of the Tyson Holly Farms 400. We have two races remaining after this. We are here. At, we're at Wilkesboro today. The next race after this will be at Phoenix for the for the Subway 500 and the finale at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Napa Know How 500. And by the way, I will make an and by the way that um, and by the way that that race will be the that, and by the way Atlanta will be the finale next season. By the way, I'm not. I am by no way putting Homestead on the back burner. By the way, I'm just um, at all. I mean, it'll be used for future seasons, but still. Uh, Atlanta will be on schedule twice in season 28 for this series. But for that said, here's the command to fire the engines here at North Wilkesboro. Actually, that should be ladies and gentlemen, start your engines because we have a lady on the front row for this race. So the fields, 
uh, fire the engines here. The engines fired up here as the field rolls off for the pace lap. We'll be we'll be back for the start right after this. Pace car ducks off on the pit road here. We mentioned Seth Cole and Cole Deaver as in car cameras for this race. Our third camera lies in the car of Charles Sanford. That's the three. That's uh, be our three cameras for today's race. As field comes off corner number four here. It's the Batson's Cat and Keith on the front row. Green flag out, and Cat Batson gets an excellent start on her husband on the, on the front row. As they come off turn number two here, Seth Cole moves to the low side, trying to trying to make a move for the lead. But Cat pulls ahead and, and, and puts the Jelly Belly forward out to the, out to the top spot. Seth Cole goes to second position. Cole Deaver trying to hold off Keith Batson for third position now. The three and the 39 cars going at it. Ford on the outside. Chevy on the low side. Then you got the Pontiac of Kyle Matthews behind him. And the Dodge of Zach Rogers behind him. And whoa! Problems off down the front stretch. Johnny Gardner and, Ke and Kev Share have crashed. And a big pile up in turn. And a big... Not a pile up really, but more like a tangle up in turn. And going in turn number one. And Johnny Gardner is one of the tracks he wants to win on badly. North Wilkesboro, for sure. And with that damaged up Crowley Food Chevy, that's not going to happen today, looks like. Unless something uh, weird happens, but... But they got they, they got way loose come off turn number four. Johnny looks like he got loose come off turn number four. He's trying to pass Jessica Shelton. And then Johnny overcorrects, gets right into Kev Shear's car. I'm sure Kev's wondering what was that all about. And then here comes everybody else there. Watch Rob Evans gets right into Shear's car and then and then gets turned by Jesse Turner, Jake Emerson, and a host of others clamor right into them there. And then so did Jefferson and um, and maybe Phil Parker. I think I'm, I don't know if there's any damage to Parker's car, believe it or not, in the number five quicker state car, but. <clears throat> But that was close, also for Jessica Shelton, because they came close to they came close to taking her out of, of out of the out of the points right there. And Gardner, um, like I said, bad break for him as well as for Kev Shear. Cat Batson by way one race back to the start finish line over Seth Cole as Jake Emerson comes down pit road. There's Johnny Gardner sitting there. Emerson comes back out on the racetrack here and uh, we'll um, try to resume the fight here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Pace car ducks, up, ducks back off on the pit road here. Johnny Gardner is the only car out of the race here because of that crash. It is Cat Batson the leader, Seth Colson second, third is, is Cole Deaver, fourth is Keith Batson, and Kyle Matthews runs in fifth. As the green flag flies, we're back underway. Zach Rogers is sixth, Jessica Shelton seventh, eighth is Charles Sanford, ninth is Dylan Young, and Joshua Osborne runs in tenth. As the green flag, well, you we already mentioned it's back out, so Cat Batson leads him down through turns three and four. Seth Cole moves to the low side, trying to get past Cat as they come off the fourth corner. And Shelton gets loose on the on the high side of the racetrack here, as you see. Dylan Young, or I should say, Charles Sanford, Dylan Young, and both going by. Joshua Osborne trying to go by here as well, but no dice. And, and Dylan Poti now gets by as the yellow flag looks like it's flown again. And it's Ryan George in car number thirty this time that in the Pittsburgh Steelers Chevy. Oh, and Phil Parker, this time Phil Parker's crashed. So, second caution of the day, flying on lap number, at the completion of lap number nine. And Phil Parker turns Rob Evans around, come off turn number four. Across the nose of Kate Anderson's car, and in, oh my god, Parker, bad hit. On the inside wall, get the start-finish line, and watch Ryan George, oof. Right into Phil Parker's car, Mason Wood 
gets a hood wrinkle on his on his number 52 G Fuel Dodge, and he's obviously going to be out of the race. Looks like yeah, I think uh, Parker and Wood, I think, is both going to be out. So the Quaker State Chevy sits in their in their lays the Quaker State Chevrolet on the inside wall and in turn about the entrance of turn number one. Yeah, it's the 52 car Mason Wood. There you see him um, coming off pit road as he um, we thought he might have been out of the race though, but he's going to make a go for it again here. About to get the restart here. It'll be it'll be on lap number 16 when this race restarts here, as we'll be 15 in the books and 45 to go here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Cat Betson seems to lead and it's Seth Cole, Cole Deaver in third position. Fourth is still uh, Keith Batson and Kyle Matthews, Zach Rogers, Charles Sanford, Dylan Young, Jessica Shelton, and Dylan Pote, the top ten. Green flag back out. We're back underway here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Riding from the rear bumper of uh, Seth Cole's car. Looking right at the car of Cole Deaver and the GM Goodwin Chevy. Riding with Seth Cole in car number 25. Batson on, so as the lead here, Seth gives her a bit of a bump right there. So Seth Tone's letting Cat know, I'm there. In case you're dozing off. And of course, you got the in car camera Cole Deaver right there behind Seth Cole as well, too. There's an inside Cole's machine. It's Cole Deaver, that is. Deaver winner this season at New Hampshire. He also won the Southern 500 at Darlington. And there's the rear front bumper came from Cole Deaver's car. If you, can read the, if you can read the message on the back of Seth Cole's car, he, you know you're pretty darn close. <laughs> Deaver now in a battle with Keith Batson for that fourth, for that third position here. Seth Cole continues to keep it close on the car of um, of Cat Batson. Now Keith moves to the low side. Zach Rogers now getting by Kyle Matthews for position as he's got the help from Charles Sanford in 0-3. So Zach moves up in the fifth position. Sanford trying for sixth place on Matthews now. Matthews gets way loose off turn number four. And now Dylan Young now moves to the low side. And, now, and he now in the meantime now tries to take the position from Sanford now. Jessica Shelton watching all this from the... She's in ninth position. Matthews ahead of her in eighth. Remember Shelton cut into Matthews' points lead at Charlotte, the last race on the tour. It was a 93-point advantage. Now, now it's down to 63 between the front these two cars. And it appears it's going to be a battle between Matthews and Shelton for the championship this season. It appears to be. Zach Rogers was in the hunt until Langhorn a couple of races back. And then when it, when it crashed, basically just about... For all intents and purposes, took him out of contention for the... Took him out of contention, basically. Unless... Unless... Um, Matthews and Shelton both have problems at this race, and um, Rogers goes on with a goes on to a solid finish. Now that could be the only that could be his only hope. But two races remaining on the season, though it's going to be plenty tough as well as for the for the um, this to happen. Meantime, back up front, it is still Seth Cole chasing down Cat Batson. Cole looks looks to the low side. Batson throws the block on Seth Cole, and that's not going to happen as um, Cat keeps the lead for the time being. But now Shelton loses now a spot to Joshua Osborne, so move Osborne up to the 
ninth position. Shelton back to tenth, maybe eleventh possibly as Levi McIntyre looks low. Both McIntyre, Shelton, and Osborne have all won at Wilkesboro before too. Matt McIntyre now gets past here. Shelton can't get her car, keep her car back down. Can't get her car back down on the low side of the track here. McIntyre up to 10th position. Matt Levi, that is. Matt McIntyre now up to, up to 11th. And here comes Dylan Poteet trying to make a run here. And give a call to that 12 car. Mitchell Collins, he's, in the last few races, he's run pretty darn good there at the number 12 Penzol machine. Mitchell up to the 14th position. I think that was 13th he just now took from Shelton. And Mike Becker now closing up behind him. So Shelton continues to lose spots right there. She got a little bit loose coming off turn number four. So Shelton drops from about ninth to 15th in the last couple three laps. And whoa, Levi McIntyre, I should say not McIntyre, but uh, Dylan Young got way loose coming off turn number four. And they have gotten up to the back of Jake Emerson's car. Emerson now up the high side. He's in this pack of cars, but he's not on the lead lap. He is in the he is in the 37th position right now. And Emerson very slow right there. Dylan Young and Charles Samper both go by him. Young running in the seventh position. Samper in sixth place right now at the moment. But the lead still belonging to Cat Bats in car number 70 as she has pulled ahead as she's had, pulled ahead just a little bit now over Seth Cole. But we're just past halfway in the books here. 34 down and 36 remaining in the or 34 34 in the books and 26 remaining, I should say, in this race. Seth trying to close back up on Cat for position. Meantime, you got a battle of developing back there. There it is. There that is. Kyle Matthews in the nine and Joshua Osborne in the ten. Two of those from state, states close to each other, I should say. Here, Matthews from the state of Ohio, Osborne from Kentucky. Matthews running in 8th position, Osborne in ninth. Levi McIntyre watching all this too. Levi's in 10th position, and another McIntyre, Matt McIntyre, running in 11th. Dylan Poteet in 12th, and Mitchell Collins in 13th position right now. Joshua trying to find a weakness out of Kyle at this point right there. Osborne again looks to the low side here, but Matthews says no way. And Matthews keeps the position for the time being at the moment. Matthews, if you, remember, if you recognize that scheme right there, Kyle Matthews driving in the 2003 Jamie McMurray um, paint scheme. But with the Melody Yellow and the number 9 on the side of that car here, Joshua Osborne driving a car that resembles the Jennifer Joe Cobb colors. Now Osborne looks to the low side. Matthews says no way. And Matthews keeps, ninth, keeps eighth position at the moment. But Joshua feeling, putting putting the heat on Kyle Matthews at this, at this moment here. Looking through the field here, there's McIntyre in 10th position, position, position. Levi McIntyre is Matt McIntyre in 12th, 11th, 12th is... Dylan Poteet, Mitchell Collins 13th, 14th is Mike Becker, Jessica Shelton 15th, 16th is is um, Quentin Moore, 17th is Zachary Fitzwater, 18th, darn pace car, 18th is Matt Haas, 19th is Cassie Dent, 20th is Tyler Deaver, 21st, Cole Baker, the man who won the Melly Yellow 500 the last race in the tour, a great win for him. Angel Navarro running 22nd, 23rd is Trent Dunham, Dunham the Brickyard 400 champion in Indianapolis. 
and, and Trent will probably tell you that's one of his big wins he's ever had in 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 this series. Or he has he's also won a Crown Joris in the Pepsi 400 back in way back in season five. Talking about your Crown Jewel races here. This man has also won another one, Nathan Hudson. He won a 600 at Charlotte this season, the number 18 Interstate Batteries Machine. So they didn't quite they haven't quite skunk they didn't quite skunk Nathan this season. Taylor Gerda started off the season with a second place finish in the Daytona 500, but has since kind of slid back a little bit. Nikki Martinez now she has won the um, she won one of the dual races in J in Suzuka, Japan, the last race on the road course this season. William Brock running 27th, 28th right now. It's Jordan Anderson in the Dodge in the Mopar Dodge, 29th. Is Zachary? It's Jesse Turner, 30th. Is Kate Anderson, 31st. Is Jay Jefferson, 32nd. Is 33rd is um, Zach Winkle, 34th. Is Mason Wood, 35th. Is Ty Dent, Jake Emerson, 37th, 36th. Is Rob Evans. As the we go back to the leader, Cat Badson. Cars out of the race here so far. It is Phil Parker, Ryan George, and Johnny Gardner. And this is gonna that's and um Gardner was hoping to get himself back up in the top ten points contention top ten in contention in the points chase, but that's all gonna further push him back, obviously. And for Cat Batson, what can you say about her, that number seventy jelly belly machine right there? For Cat it's been kind of feast or famine this season. She's had great runs. In that number seventy car, but if she does, but she, as, as, but for cat, she either runs good or she wrecks or something, something a foul goes for her. Here, and she has been a couple close a couple times to to victory though. However, she has not quite closed the deal, but she may be a cup. She may be she may be eleven laps away from doing so. Right from cl finally closing the deal at North Wilkesboro. As she go, as she's got Seth Cole closing up a little bit, the average speed is now bumped up to almost 92 miles an hour at the moment. After, as we're about to complete the 50th lap, we'll have 10 to go. Third is still Cole Deaver, fourth is still Keith Batson, and Zach Rogers now at the fifth position. Charles Saber runs sixth, seventh is still Dylan Young, Kyle Matthews is eighth, ninth is Joshua Osborne, and tenth is Levi McIntyre. And they're about to close up on Jake Emerson right now in that 0-1 car. Again, he's not on the lead lap. He's about to go a second lap down here at, North, here at this track here. Nine laps from the finish now in the Tyson Holly Farms 400. On board with Seth Cullen, car number 52, uh, car number 25, I should say, excuse me. Cat trying to get by Jake Emerson. She does so. Now, now let's see what Seth Cole does. He'll now move on the inside of Emerson. Gets by him. See if that closed the interval up at all. It's a, it was a half a second the last time by. And he got another lap car up ahead and Rob Evans. And Seth knocked the interval down six hundredths of a second. It's now down to 44 hundredths between the front two cars. But time is running out. We're about to complete the 54th lap. We'll be down, we'll be down, we'll be down to six to go. And battle for eighth position still raging on. Joshua Osborne now has, now has gotten pulled up alongside Kyle Matthews for position. Matthews moves up the track here, and Osborne takes the spot away. Now Levi McIntyre goes low on the Matthews car. That's for 10th place. That's for, I should say that's for 9th, excuse me. Matthews facing the same problem Jessica Shelton did, kind of, and that was uh, getting moved up the track a little bit right there, and now Matthews caught up in the same dilemma. Meantime, Dylan Poteet has now uh, been moved bumped up the track, and now... Mitchell Collins moves to the low side in the number 12 car. Here he comes to the inside of Poteet's car. And he'll bring Mike Becker with him in that number 43 STP car. Three laps remaining. So Matthews finally finds a place on the inside lane there. He only drops to the 10th position right now as, the, as they come off turn number four. There's the 
McIntyre now getting by Jake Emerson in that 0-1 car. But in the meantime, the white flag is about to fly over Kat Batson. She has one lap remaining in this race here. Looking for her first victory of season 27. And for Seth Cole again, close but no cigar unless something goes wrong with that number 70 car in the last quarter, half of the half of the lap of this race here as they come off turn number four. And she's finally going to do it. Cat Batson wins the Tyson Holly Farms 400 at North Wilkesboro. So the season of feast or famine for Cat Batson has finally gone full circle as she takes the number 70 Jelly Belly Ford to victory lane. Seth Cole comes home second. Third will go to, to Cole Deaver. Keith Batson comes home fourth. And fifth will place will go to Zach Rogers. Sixth to Charles Sanford. Seventh place to Dylan Young. Eighth to Joshua Osborne. Levi McIntyre ninth. And Kyle Matthews comes home in tenth position. Average speed 95.709. So there you see the final, there you see the finishing order for this race here today here. Um, ever, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, rest of the finish, rest of the finishing order for you here. Matt McIntyre comes home in 11th. Mitchell Collins 12th. 13th will go to Mike Becker. Dylan Poteet 14th. And Jessica Shelton holds off Quentin Moore for 15th position. Quentin comes home 16th. 17th place will go to Zachary Fitzwater. Matt Haas 18th. Cassie Dent 19th. And Tyler Deaver comes home in 20th. Then Cole Baker, Trent Dunham, Angel Navarro, Nathan Hudson, and Taylor Gertis, top 25. Then, then 26 through 30, Nikki Martinez, William Brock, Jordan Anderson, Jesse Turner, and Kay Anderson, the top 30. Then the rest of the order for you here, Jay Jefferson, Kev Shear, Zach Winkle, Mason Wood, Ty Dent, and Rob Evans was the last car to finish on the lead lap in 36th position. Jake Emerson, the only car that was not on the lead lap, finishing in 37, two laps down. Cars out of the race were Phil Parker, and Ryan George and Johnny Gardner, all three of them out because of a crash. Two caution flags. So this race down to, as we mentioned, to 95.709, just flirting with 96 miles an hour, but not quite. But not quite. But uh, but uh, big. But Cat Batson with a big victory here today. As we said, all the uh, bad luck she's had this season, though, it's finally come full circle for her. In season 27, she grabs her first victory of the season as she goes from the pole to the podium and leads every lap of this race here. Here today. If you like what you see here, be sure be sure to subscribe to the NSR, to the NSCR Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything in this channel. We got NRS this. We got gaming videos. We got in our online videos. Whatever the president on the NSR sets calls ours for his channel. Be sure to check out Seth Star Cell Cup Series, which is in full swing on his channel as well too. And you will not regret checking those races out neither. And I guarantee his races are a lot better than what I have to offer too. So that will do it today at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Here for now, this is James Qualls. This has been a production of the NSCRA Offline Racing at its best. We will see you at Phoenix International Raceway for the for the Subway 500.